We've all been here, and it is painful. Well, hey everyone, this is Lou with Reluctant DIYers, and we've all been in this situation, right? Whether you're drilling that screw into the wall, into the ceiling, sometimes it strips. Well, today I'm gonna to share two quick and easy ways that you can use to overcome this challenge. But first, why does this happen in the first place? Well, here's a couple ways you might wanna to try to avoid it. First, typically when you buy something like a grab bar or a light fixture, they just ship really cheap hardware and you end up stripping the screw just because it's cheap, it falls apart. So tip number one, make sure you buy good hardware for your installation. Tip number two and the other reason, the second biggest reason why you might strip that screw, well, you might have the wrong screw bit for your drill. And here's what I mean by that. When you get screw bits, they come in different sizes, just like screwdrivers. They have large size screwdriver heads and small size screwdriver heads. Well, here's an example. Right here, we have two different bits, a small, and a larger bit. But usually when you strip a screw, it's because you're using the small bit and not the larger bit. The larger bit will get better grip with your screw, but make sure you don't go too big. And this is why it's important to have a really good set of bits that you can use for your drill. And I'll include a link for what I'm using within the description of this video here today. But let's get into our two quick and easy ways that you can overcome that stripped screw. Your first option is the rubber band. <laughs> Yes, I'm being very serious, the rubber band. But there's a tip with the rubber bands that you have to keep in mind. Do not use skinny rubber bands. They're not gonna work. Your weapon of choice for option number one, the thick rubber band. Yes, thick. Let's get to it and I'll show you how it works. Now to get started, you wanna double layer the rubber band over top of the screw. Grab your screwdriver, put it in, and slowly start to try and remove the screw. And this is gonna take multiple attempts to complete. So be patient. Now, as you continue to work through this, your rubber band is gonna get chewed up. And it's gonna take multiple attempts to get this going, but continue to look for those fresh sections in your rubber band, put it on top of that screw head, and continue to move forward. And eventually, you're finally gonna see the screw come out. Now you might have to grab it with your hand and hand loosen it to get it out of the wood or whatever surface you're screwed into, but eventually that stripped screw will be removed. One thing to know about the rubber band is it does not always work. The key with the rubber band is you need to make sure that you put a lot of pressure behind the drill when you do it and do not go fast. Go slow with that drill bit. The faster you go, the quicker it's gonna rip apart that rubber band. But if you go slow, a lot of times, this method is gonna work for you. But if that doesn't work, there's a better option for you. And I went on to Amazon and found one of these kits myself. It's called a stru- <laughs> eh. Yeah, that is what it's called. It's called a <laughs> screw extractor kit. And I bought this one called Easy Out. Now I'll include a link for this in the description below so that you can take a look at it as well. As well as some other options that are out there. Bosch makes one that's really nice. It's a little bit more expensive. This one was about 13 bucks on Amazon. The Bosch kit was about 27. But they're both really good kits that you can use. But there's a key with the screw extractor set. You have to keep this one in mind. And they even put a little card in here that tells you stop. The, work, the drill needs to be worked in reverse. This is one of those times where you have to listen to some of your hip hop stars for some advice. You remember Missy Elliott, put my game down, flip it and reverse it. I think she was talking about a different kind of drill, but let's not go there. Regardless, when you operate the screw extractor set, you need to make sure that you operate your drill in reverse. Do not operate it forward. And the reason for that is the screw extractor comes with two ends. The bottom end, which is the extractor end, is threaded reverse. So this is how you're gonna actually pull the screw out. The top end, which is the drill end, it almost looks just like a drill bit, right? You're gonna drill this into the top of the screw in reverse. 
Now the extractor kit that I bought comes with four different screw extractors. They're actually numbered one, two, three, and four. And the key with this is you wanna make sure you're selecting the one that's the right size for your screw. If I take the screws I'm using for our test here today and I take the extractor and I put it next to it, it should look like it's going to almost screw into the top of the part of the screw that has been stripped. This would be the right size. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot and show you how it works. You want to put the burnishing in in the top and take out about a 16th out of the top of the screw head. Now I've flipped the extractor around so we have the extraction portion sticking out of the drill and we're gonna go ahead and remove this nice and slow. And there you have it. The screw has been removed. Now, hopefully you found that these two tips helped you overcome your situation with that stripped screw. Leave some comments in the bottom here that I can reply to and let me know what your findings were. Did it work? Did it not work? Is there any other question that you might have? I'd love to hear more from you. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel. Have a great day and keep doing it yourself.